right, guys. Hey, welcome to uh, PPTV, our first ever edition of our uh, new video blogs that we're going to put out on uh, on the website. Uh, we're going through to talk about everything between uh, programming, movement, nutrition, everything that's in your CrossFit world here down at Perpetua. If you guys got questions about it, we want to make sure we're answering them today. So um, we're going to go through a bunch of different video blogs. You're going to see one a week come out on, on different topics. Our first one today is with our, our newest coach. He's the newest agenda, a little gymnastics genius, uh, Daniel Megson. So, Daniel. Anyway, how you doing? I'm good, man. How What's are you? Going on, mate? Good to see you. Good, good to see you. Um, what are we doing today? What are we looking at today? Uh, we're looking at what's called the Russian dip. Yeah, Russian dip. Russian okay. dip. And what, is, what is the Russian dip? What are we using this for? What uh, Russian dip's a good way to build up the shoulder stability um, through the transitions through the muscle up. Um, so it's good for building up shoulder strength and those awkward positions that we find ourselves in at the top of those muscle ups. Yeah, and then this will lead to a uh, good, good work in the muscle up and in, in the ring dip as well. Right? In the ring dip, in the push up, in anything that's overhead as well. It's just good at developing those smaller muscles around the shoulder joint um, to help with that Excellent. ability. Do you want to demonstrate what this, what this looks like? So how this looks, is you're going to find yourself in your hollow body position as if you just pulled yourself to your rings, pull the legs in, rock yourself forward and push out. The slower you can do this, the better because it will help develop more strength through the range. Um, if you don't have the strength to do it nice and slowly, you can kind of kip it, if you will, by bringing the legs in a little bit quicker and then pushing out. What, what would be a uh, prerequisite to this move that you would need to have to be uh, this would be beneficial for you? So I would suggest uh, from three free pull-ups, strict pull-ups, and three strict ring dips before yeah. you attempt this. And then that will allow you to get, to get that. that just, to, just to make sure that you've got the shoulder strength in there to handle the load in that awkward position at the bottom. Cool. What's this called? It's called the Russian dip. There you have it. Russian dip. Boom. Look for the video, bro. Boom! PGT. PGT. I know! There you have it guys, that's the first episode of PPTV. We're going to keep bringing these out each week, but we want to know what you guys think. If you guys can post your ideas to comments and things you guys want to know about, we're here to answer your questions to your community too. Petrol. Peace. Peace.